Hello, ladies and gentlemen of Arn Conquest. How is it going? It's mystery. So, um, today I'm showing you, gonna show you a simple trick that uh, improve your PvE skill. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at those battle. Uh huh. Well, I already said the first time we just recall the video of blue stack, so <laughs> it's good, man. Where's my attack? Ten hours ago. Ah, yeah. This one. Okay. So, uh, you can say that I uh, just lost a group of hoplites, and uh, I just sent all of his, uh, his rope to the hospital. Feels good, man. So the thing is, I didn't intend to attack him, but uh, you know, while you was escorting your way gun, and just some people want to deal with you on your territories, and that suck, and uh, you wanted to make them pay back for you. So let's have a look at the damage. Let's start with it. All right. Well, I just. Fight so hard. Okay. This was an easy one. Okay, let's have a look at this this battle. So first thing first. I use the healing ability of my Vega. And the next time I use the Fallen Hurry to break the back line. Obviously, my, my troop doesn't take much damage from the Lich army because of the Elena magic resistance. So let's have a look at another one. Okay, this one is also a, an easy one. Okay, I just lost one hoplet and five hoplets which he uh, sent to the hospital. And as you can see that he just no, he just sent the whole entire his army to the hospital, and this may take a few days to recover. This Batman. Let's have a look at the damage. So my archers uh, fire about uh, three thousand k, three hundred k damage, and. Okay, let's have a quick look for this battle. Window. As always, I, I use my uh, son of a god. And then uh, I call the cavalry to break the back line. Especially the archer, the one that archer one. They can stand in the cavalry for long. So. And the last step, I just give my crusader uh, three succession to recover back my summon. What's an easy one? So what? So uh. Many of you guys ask me how to like uh, how can I do that? Like 
it's a mystery thing so so i'm just gonna show you a simple trick that i use on my uh, army Great, i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven hero and um i bought two hero which is uh the first hero is uh, was uh lena okay rufio love the commander claymore uh if you watch my previous video you can see that uh, these items can be stacked together to improve your uh, allies more to, ma to maximize and uh, at the start of the battle they may have a chance to increase all the troops moral and uh, combine with the variants here yeah that's a, maybe a decent combo so uh, yeah just have a basic item the next one is oh, I forgot to show you the visibility so heroically and chopping play and two point uh, destructive swan <clears throat> so the next one I want to show you is uh, the Avalon so commander claymore or an aura well uh, this ability is absolutely good for the human race as you can see you can um, you can increase your whole army HP by 32% you maximize uh, increase the increase this ability to level 8 32 percent that's pretty decent and uh, the archer mastery also also he's the the archer commander so my archer side they fight super hard for them to stand against and uh one more thing um the hp of your whole army can be increased with command point so currently I haven't put any complaint my command point in Avalon yet. And uh, yeah, it's just a bonus from the item. Some uh, points from stamina. Yeah, that's okay. And the next one I want to show you is my Legion Commander. The Elena. So as you can see, I just maximize her command by 50 points. And with this ability, he's uh, that's allow her to call in the cavalry and just walk you in the battle. The reason why I like this hero because he's uh, she can uh, you know level up very fast with it, ready and willing ability. So I mean that uh, at um, at very low level, like before thirty and so on, you can upgrade this ability to maximum, maximum level and when you have enough level just reset it for free and uh, upgrade for other abilities so this hero is uh, actually um, might be a good counter to leg unit with a magic resistance bonus to all the allies unit by 33% at level 3 and uh, upgrade it to level 5 might be like um, Let's say uh, 50 or 60 percent. Yeah, I'm guessing. And uh, saving life. Saving life is also a good ability <coughs> for the later game because uh, you don't want to lose your job. You should want them to be sent to hospital and you can uh, cure them. Uh, and it's take about like a few days to recover, but not like uh, a week to gather resources and to build against. To, to build the whole entire army so the thing is uh, cavalry specialists in, increase uh, the damage of the crusader and templar by uh, say uh, 25% and uh, with the combination with uh, what's that? Avalon or the Nora this means that um, my cavalry have 50% HP increase and 25 more damage that's pretty decent strategy yeah you can put one point on it 
if you are in a seeing battle and you don't want to lose the draw but um no i'm not using uh like gone through into the seeing battle just using my bronze and silver one so i'm not uh really really i'm not yeah i don't want to put any point to this bfc so let's have a look at my next hero is the vega so i have a book that can improve his saving liability by one point which hmm, is really good and her magic 34 i have 34 magic and the bonus is uh, 29 and uh yeah you have already know about vega ability that can uh, heal the whole army and the healing ability healing effect that can be improved by the magic so that's really good and one thing i just i just lucky enough to get this one from the dungeon i yeah if you are lucky enough you may have a chance to fight it in the, in the dungeon so the ability favor of the sun god definitely a good very 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 good ability and with the combination of the staff reduced by initial ability cooldown by 2 seconds this means that um, when you start a battle about like 2-3 seconds you can use the ability you can use the ability immediately at the start of the battle so it's really good against like uh, the cavalry uh, when they want to like wreck your front line with uh, your salmon or something yeah. saving liabilities is for late game as you can see you can increase uh, maximize this uh, ability to level 8 which uh, boost the troop into the right by 8% as maximum level The next one I want to show you is in my um, Virion variant. I'm not sure. So the first one, you all you all take um, the life saver ability, which is one point. Uh, a long time ago, I I absolutely love this ability because I uh, summon summon this ability also as an ability that can um, support your new unit into battle and. Um, just put them in, in uh, the back like and they yeah they do a lot of damage but the things that I prefer to upgrade my procedural shield as I have the motor boost ability uh, uh, motor boost uh, items that can boost the motor of the whole army by and uh, when uh, my armies get more robots, they ha they take about twenty reduced twenty percent reduced damage. I think that's the best way to play. And um, you know, it's just a combination. So you have to like what what best is for the best. So mastery. Uh, let me show you something so uh, uh, currently I just upgrade all of them to level 9 level 9 fuse batman so it's just a simple trick that um, the hoplite unit um, is uh, I mean that the HP of the summons is uh, one level higher than the hoplites and the damage of the of the summons is almost double of the hoplites so at the very late game you might likely to upgrade your summon instead of the hoplites because your summon abilities and stuff can be improved by variant uh, as um, improved by uh, 32 percent um, at level eight, and you know, and yeah, you already know 
your hop, hop lines cannot be improved by that. Okay, uh, just show you about some. And uh, what do I have here? Variant, the game. <laughs> Not sure what to do with this hero, but uh, I just put one life force ability into. <laughs> Uh, to extend the uh, duration of AFI in the battlefield for like a few seconds. That's good enough. Ah, and the uh, earthquake ability is good, absolutely good for the, for the building unit. It deals some uh, devastating damage to building unit. Someone drain. You won't need that. Christian tone. Yeah. It's also a ability that can counter the cavalry unit. Uh, it can block the cavalry chance. Like the spearman, and also magic increases the damage. And this hero, I just like I rarely use this hero because I uh, I don't think it's a it's a good hero for human race at a very high level. I don't think I don't think this uh, yeah this ability have a decent damage, but which uh, the healing ability from the Say and uh, from the Vega and uh, and if they have the princess in uh, princess in the in the uh, enemy units, I don't think this hero uh, this ability can do much damage. Skeleton sacrifice. Yeah, that's just a so so ability. Suppressive eyes are bad. Maybe the best hero, uh, the best ability of uh, the Grims general. And then the next one you want to maximize the sync mastery that allows you to increase damage in each roll of uh, sync weapon at 10% and uh, at uh, 25-32% the maximum level So I just recently bought this one Not sure how to play this one so it's just <coughs> To me I, I actually I don't need the ability to uh, like uh, rule the ray of fire by 60% 100% and for the for the level 4, I think it's like 200% maybe? It's mean that uh, it's 3x of speed And I think that he doesn't need that because like uh, he doesn't have enough ammo No, I mean that I don't have enough ammo to animation to um, no, use his ability So I just want to maximize uh, the first skill and the second skill and you can also grab this one. Script Dry Dagger. That allows you to increase your hero bonus at a speed by 30%. And uh, yeah, as a very low level, you can grab it, also grab this one. So uh, I'm gonna make a video about grabbing things later. Just uh, let you know how the general look about the hero. Okay. So. Okay, and as always, thanks for watching. Mystery is out.